And with the Republican convention underway, Democrats are doing their best to steal some of the GOP's thunder. President Barack Obama embarks on a campaign swing today that will bring him to Virginia tomorrow. And joining me to discuss this is a close advisor to the president, the former White House press secretary, Robert Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs is live in Tampa for us. Uh, Mr. Gibbs, welcome to First and Four. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me. First of all, let me uh, talk a little bit about the president's visit. This is a little bit out of the ordinary for a president to campaign during his opposing primaries convention. Now, Republicans are saying it's because the president's worried that they're going to get a little too much attention this week. Is the president worried about the spotlight being too bright on the Republicans? No, I think the president believes that uh, we have a lot of important issues to talk about and discuss in this campaign. The president is out uh, uh, on a three-state swing uh, that'll take him to Virginia to talk about uh, college affordability on, uh, on college campuses. You know, the conventions are really late this year. There's not a lot of time left in this campaign, and the president thought uh, this was an issue that was important enough to talk about uh, this week. Now, uh, you, the Democrats have done, spent a lot of time talking about social issues over the past couple of weeks, and that is in, in part because of some of the events of the day. But Republicans say that's because Democrats don't want to talk about the economy and that they're distracting from the economy being the prime issue. Is, it, is the economy still President Obama's top concern? Well, I think the, the economy is the president's top concern. I think it's a voter's top concern. Uh, that's why, the, as I said, that's why the president's out uh, this week talking about how to make sure that, that families and, and students that work hard and get into college aren't barred from going to college because it costs too much money. That's, a, that's an economic issue. But as you mentioned, uh, look, some of the uh, Republican candidates for Senate across the country have made some uh, astounding and outlandish remarks about uh, you know, even victims of, of, of rape and, and incest wouldn't have uh, access to health care uh, and the choice of an abortion. Uh, I think that puts them, I think that puts the Republican Party uh, and Mitt Romney way, way, way out on the, uh, the social edge. You mentioned college affordability, and you made a little bit of news uh, today. You were on Chuck Todd's show on MSNBC, and you made a comment about the state of the unemployed in America that the GOP is been sending out to everyone that will listen. You mentioned that it, the situation for the unemployed is worse if you didn't graduate from college and the Romney campaign accused you of being insensitive to those college graduates that are struggling to find a job. Uh, does the president and do, and do Democrats understand how difficult it is for people to find work out there right now? Yeah, I, 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 I you know, the Romney campaign, I, I don't pay them a whole lot of attention. Uh, the point that I was making is, uh, we understand that if you're, uh, if you have a college degree, the unemployment rate's about half uh, for those that do have a college degree. Now, uh, what President Obama would like to do is make sure that more and more uh, folks have access to a four-year college or a two-year college, uh, so that they can get skills and training to get a good job. I don't, I don't think anybody, but apparently the Romney campaign is uh, is opposed to something like that. All right, Robert Gibbs, we appreciate you joining us, sir, and enjoy the rest of your time in Tampa. Thanks for having me.